Back Big Ange Postacoglu, trust the process and give our manager time. That is the message I am sending out to Spurs fans who I've seen come out with some ridiculous takes over this weekend, such as Ange isn't the right man for the job or questions need to be asked of Ange Postacoglu's position at the football club. The guy is doing a fantastic job at Tottenham Hotspur and to appreciate the job that he's doing you need to look back at last season some of the results we were getting the football that we were playing as I say it was horrible on the eye finished 8th no Europe sacked Antonio Conte then sacked his assistant Stellini for his assistant Ryan Mason fan base arguing in a meltdown every single day on social media and in the stadium um, owner indicted when it comes to Joe Lewis, Fabio Paratici with a world ban, Harry Kane leaves the football club two days before the season, we were an absolute mess of a club Ange Postacoglu now has us playing some of the best football in the league he's got us with a young squad that's only going to develop and get better he's got us as a fan base together and believing and creating a raucous atmosphere at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium every single week and after a few bad results, some fans are questioning his position at the football club. We wonder why we're not successful when year after year we call out manager after manager. And I'm seeing the same cycle start to repeat itself. Where at one point in time under Antonio Conte and Jose, it was ludicrous and ridiculous to call out those managers. Yet towards the end, 75% of the fan base wanted them gone. And a few months ago, it was ridiculous to call out Ange Postecoglou. Yet now the number of people calling him out and questioning him is increasing. It's still not a lot, but it's increasing week after week. And we're repeating the same cycle. And we wonder why we're not successful as a club when as a fan base, we don't let any manager rebuild. Yes, a lot of the reason we haven't been successful over the last 20 years is because of the ownership. I say Enoch and Levy out at the end of every single video because I despise our ownership model. I think they've ruined our football club over the last 20 years. But the fan base have a part to play when it comes to sacking managers. And year after year, we call out manager after manager, scapegoat the manager. And we're starting to do the same, the same thing and repeat the same cycle with a man who's changing our fortunes around. Who has us as a club moving in the right direction. We're fifth in the table. What, 13, 14 points clear of Chelsea. They're at the beginning of their rebuild. They've spent a billion quid. A billion quid, 800 million more than we have in our rebuild. And they're 14 points behind us. It's a transitional season. Look at the shambles of a club we were last season. Ange Postecoglou himself has said it's not about you know getting top four. It's not just about a place in a ladder. It's about developing as a team and being able to compete with the top sides in future seasons. And we've already been able to do that this season. We, we, we went to the Emirates and outplayed Arsenal, an Arsenal team who have been brilliant this season. I hate saying that, I really do, but they have been under Lego head Arteta. We went to the Etihad with so many injuries and outplayed Manchester City. Despite the circumstances, we beat Liverpool. Those are the top three sides and we've been able to compete with them this season. Obviously, we played them again in April and we may get battered like I had it down the local chippy, but even if we do, it's expected. Many fans, pre-season Spurs fans, opposition fans, were predicting us to finish mid-table. Some genuinely thought we may be in a relegation battle. Yet we're complaining because we've lost a couple of games when we're contending for Champions League. It, it's, it's unreal in my opinion. It really is. We've had so many positive days this season and we expected so many more bad ones. How many performances have we actually had this season when we haven't turned up for the whole 90? I'd say the Fulham one. I'd say both Wolves games. Probably the Brighton one. Well, actually, not even the Brighton one, because the last 30 minutes we turned up and the game could have been very different in the first 30 minutes as well, because we had many, many chances that we didn't put away. So I'd say three performances, maybe four, that we haven't turned up in this season. We expected so many more than that. And what does that show you? The club's moving in the right direction. The team has the right mentality. They're developing. They're getting better. We didn't expect anything this year. It's a transitional season. And whilst I get that... That means we can't just, you know, move along and be happy even if we get battered every single week. We're not being battered every single week. That was the first time against Fulham that we haven't scored a goal all season. Calm down. Yet fans calling out Ange Postecoglou, ridiculous overreaction. The manager isn't good enough. Shut up. Year after year, the same fans call out manager after manager, get them sacked and then complain. Complain about us not being successful. 
It's unreal to me how fickle some football fans are. One minute it's trust a process, the next minute after a few uh, 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 a few bad results that we expected, it's Anjou. Questions need to be asked. And I get that it's still a minority, but it was a minority of fans who were calling out Pochettino after the Champions League final at the beginning of that season. It was a minority of fans who were calling out Conte at one point in time and at the beginning of last season. It was a minority of fans who were calling out Jose before the end. And it's a minority now, and I can see the same cycle starting to repeat itself. And you've got to stop the wheels in motion because we've got a man who's rebuilding the club. He's got us playing a beautiful brand of football, competing with the top sides in games, and turning up pretty much every single week, which is what we wanted as a fan base. And if we don't get Champions League and get Europa League, we've probably got more of an opportunity of winning that, more of a chance to play young players and develop them. That's another thing. I've seen a lot of fans calling out Ange Postacoglu for not playing youngsters. OK, do you, want him, do you want him to actually put in a youngster? Do you want him to put in Donnelly over Hyung Min Son against Fulham then? Do you actually? Do you want him to put in Dorrington over Romero? And then if we lost the game, you'd be calling him out. I'm sick of this. this, this, this some of this fan base calling out manager after manager. I get that the main issue at the football club is Enoch and Levy, in my opinion. But a big issue was also our fan base. Because it's so split, you get the overreactionary bunch who, you know, react to everything absolutely horrendously and every result is a disaster and the world's going to blow up and the manager needs to get sacked and Enoch and Levy out and you're part of the problem. And then you've got the happy clappers who everything's OK. You know, Tottenham Hotspur are a great team. We're in the Premier League. We're very happy. There's a minority of fans, and I'll class myself in this one, who are realists, in my opinion. You get the glass half empty and the glass half full. What about just glass in the middle? That's where I'd say I am. That's where I'd say a lot of Spurs, or, or, or a minority of Spurs fans are. Probably about 20%. Reasonable thinking, instead of just being so one way or the other. <sighs> Fair enough. We, we lose to Luton and we lose the rest of the games that we've got this season. Don't sack Ange Postacoglu, but yeah, question him. Question whether he's, you know, really good enough. Give him another chance next season. Then go if it goes tits up. Then maybe we let him go. But overreaction. We beat Villa 4-0 last week. And we were all raving on about how Ange is the best thing since sliced bread. Then we lose the game and get outclassed for one of the first times this season. By a very good side. And all of us have lost our heads. It's just... It's giving me a headache as I speak right now. It it really does do my head in. When Pep first went to Manchester City, they finished fourth in their first season. Compared to what they wanted to achieve and their ambitions, it was a very poor season. They lost to Everton 4-0 away. They lost 4-2 to Leicester away. When, when Jurgen Klopp first went to Liverpool, poor result after poor result, finished eighth. But their fans weren't calling for him out because they could see the process. They could see the wheels moving. They could see that their club was going in the right direction. Arteta's a different one. A lot of Arsenal fans called out Arteta when he first went to the club, and I think their fan base is pretty much as reactionary as ours. But, as I say, certain fans stuck by him, the ownership stuck by him, and look at Arsenal right now, competing with the top sides the last couple of seasons. They're a serious team. They really are. Yet it's Spurs fans, as I say, who want to be like that, say that we want to be like Man City and Liverpool and Arsenal on the same level, yet when we get a manager who's trying to rebuild the club, we call him out, or a section of our fan base call him out and say that questions need to be asked after a few poor results in his first season, which is a transitional season. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like I will calm down on the ranting because I've, I've done a few videos over the last few days talking about this. Uh, if there's any transfer news or anything in the international break, we'll have videos up. So we'll still have content over the next few weeks. But it's just really frustrated me, the reaction from some of our fan base and how fickle they genuinely are. But guys... Thank you for watching this. I got a lot of positive feedback on my last video when I talked about this. So if if you like this type of content, if you agree with me, if if you disagree with me, I'm very happy to debate you if you're going to reasonably debate football in the comment section down below. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Take care. All the best. And as always, Commonly Spurs, in Big Ange, we trust Enoch and Levy out.